and what is up guys it's Corvin here and welcome back to the channel yeah an unexpected second video for today because they dropped this unexpectedly um i like this this is before you know like the hype area you know how next week there will be like the hype or oh, isn't in two weeks time anyway there's like a week where they take out new stuff so i'm, I'm assuming they're gonna bring this either on that week or like more details on that week or later so um yeah they brought out this thing that they brought us um these news here so let's read and see what they want to say dear espers okay let's read and see what they want to say dear espers since the last version update we have received feedback and suggestion from players across all platforms and channels we acknowledge that we there there were some we acknowledge that there were some increases when uh, considering our adjustments to the game in order to enhance the gaming experience for every player we have been working hard to find a solution that balances the demand of multiple parties however to be honest some issues cannot be solved overnight that is true uh, we have to be hasty we have to take time when thinking of solutions quick fixes are always bad for the content of future updates we would like to communicate with you openly and honestly we will collect your suggestions and feedback and optimize <clears throat> and optimize and solve issues that players are concerned about in subsequent phases okay so i'm assuming they're going to be doing a lot more of this so they're gonna send out a suggestion of a change um listen to the community's response and then respond to that you know accordingly i think that's what that section says in our current version one of the key issues we receive a lot of feedback on was players drawing duplicate espers that did not add to power of the overall team well i mean the problem is not that they do not add any power is that i was summoning for gaius and i got genu yao like that that actually is the core problem especially if you keep on getting genu yao's or Bayondinas over and over again but yeah i get it therefore we have decided to address this issue as one of our top priorities in the update. Oh, okay, so they decided to solve it. Let's see how they solve that. Our plan includes adjusting the resonance system and moving a part of resonance point bonuses to a new resonance talent branch. Okay, so they're changing the resonance system. There will be three branches of resonance talents, attack, HP, and defense. When a player allocates a certain number of resonance points to a branch, they can acquire a resonance talent on that branch and receive additional combat buffs, for example. In attack brides, the player can choose the power suppression talent, which increases damage dealt by 3% when taking the disadvantaged enemies. Our current design plan is in the figure below. We hope that the new talent system will solve issues players are currently experiencing. It is our hope that players have a better gaming experience and are able to develop various strategies to advance their espers. In addition, the gaming experience of players without duplicate espers will not be affected too much. Okay, so they gave us this. Um, oh, talent trees. So like in WoW, like uh, World of Warcraft. Um, I think more closer would be like in Racial Legends. I know Racial Legends has something like this. They call it Masteries, I think. Yes, yeah, so we'll be getting that um well i have one question it's not clear here are they changing or are they adding and moving a part of resonance point bonuses to a new resonance moving a part our plan includes adjusting the resonance system and moving a part so like they're not do you still get so like from the resonance system this is my question do you still get the plus attack defense and hp right or is is it completely abolished and then they put up this uh masteries or oh, what do they call it here <laughs> talent talent system i mean it still gives the same points you still get the same points there so that's fine um we'll wait and see when the actual update comes through and more information comes through but this is cool um this is a way to use duplicates but again you know the core problem as i mentioned the number this was another du like this was another problem right which is solved which means they're actually thinking about summoning and the duplicates and stuff like that so if they're thinking about it it means they know that people hate getting dupes it's not that we hate getting dupes because we can't use them is that i didn't want that dupe so i'm guessing with this system they want you to want that dupe 
as opposed to you hating getting dupes in the first place so yeah i i mean with the reduced pt system and then moving banners away from gold records this means with our gold records we will be getting more old espers as opposed to new espers because remember zeus was the last banner on gold records which means every time you summon on gold records you are most likely to get an old one as opposed to a new one right that means that you will be getting more dupes so they sort of saw that and they were like okay so we have to make people not hate <laughs> getting dupes so yeah that's what i assume now i've read a bit about this system here and i just want to check uh as i was saying i did look a bit into how everything here is set up and um the abilities don't look too op but then they look good some of them look great for hide you know some of them look go good for clear for, for cleavers look at this one like preemptive attack when using your ability for the first time in each battle deal damage six percent so that's just six percent aoe damage for like every cleave unit because you're gonna push defense break and then cleave so that's good um something like perfect harvest is pretty good against bosses um as suppose like um chalmers and steward you know like the big damage to the to the boss so basically is that every every time they use a single attack and then that attack deals 35 percent of the 35 percent higher than the target's max hp then you can deal like five percent more based on that hp which is pretty good if hp is below 50 life still amount eight percent that's <laughs> pretty good for hide you know but i think like it's between berserker draw and deadly senders look at that when an ally dies gain eight percent crit damage it screams hide hide already has a mechanic like that so the top part's already looking good the attack tree something you really want to look into for most of the damage dealers of course the hp tree has hastily action which is pretty good like as, as, as soon as i saw this leg i knew it was a speed buff of some sorts but what i didn't want was that all supports have now to get this one so like they can all supports can still get this one but then this doesn't affect the actual speed of of the of the support is like at the beginning because you have to use a skill so the first time is still a gear dependence thing so you don't have to have hastily action but imagine gabriel on hastily action holy holy or, or like an unas unas already has like multiple ways to buff his own speed when the opponent gets like turns so this also just adds into that like unas just becomes so toxic not gonna lie uh the life power pretty good and any dps that still buffs you have the you have um who's this you have raven yes you have raven she already has this ability of uh reducing hp hp cap she already has this but then now you just add more into that hide already has this already stills buffs so this just adds more um chloe will be a monster with this one good against tank teams as well as gaius gaius is also that he doesn't have this ability so this will be a great addition to him and um yeah i guess it just depends the defense one i haven't seen anything insane i just see this set here this set was currently removed so you can't get it it's a set where immobilized aspers gain the speed <laughs> there's a set that gives them 50 so um yeah maybe that the same asper you would put that set on you just get this wind guardian and everything goes on well but they're pretty cool we'll go through them as they come out as more details come what i want to know is that is it one point one point one point or is it like three points six points and something else because as you saw for for a rare you'll get a max of 24 right and these things are one two three four five six seven eight nine nine times three is 27 so can you get every tree or like are the points different that's my question but there will be answers pretty soon when more information comes oh there's more we also plan to add more methods to achieve resonance in the upcoming updates so players can use the new resonance system more frequently and design the ideal esper squads okay so they're probably gonna add a token that acts as a replacement for resonance like uh like something that constitutes a dupe in awakening chaos era there's something like that 
they call them alexis or something those things are like oh this is like a dupe esper that's okay i guess but then what about actual dupe espers you know <laughs> like there's a way to get resonance better right with other stuff <laughs> so what about after you like let's say you do this way and you invest all of it in donor right and then you put a donor like what about that dupe esper yeah it's kind of weird for espers already acquired by by players we will add new events in the upcoming updates in which players can complete event tasks in order to increase the resonance level for these espers in addition a new system will be launched as soon as possible as soon as possible please please to provide players with a free way to acquire more copies of espers that are already in their squad okay hey that's so it's still the same comment sure i use this new system to get dupes easier or dupe representatives i invest them in clara and then i try to summon for the new s but i get two claras what then you know <laughs> for new espers that will be released in the future will continue to increase the number of super sound matrices you love to hear it please more super sound matrices please that can be obtained that players can get their hands on these espers more easily we are aware that the current solution may not meet the expectation of every player that's great awareness from you guys um you you will never actually do this so don't even chase it just think up ha, ha, think about how you want your game to be and what your game wants to be remembered as however we'll continue to collect player feedback and any suggestions to further improve and optimize the gaming experience for all exactly in the near future we will reveal and develop a roadmap for all major updates on this slide over the next six months holy they have the next six months planned out that is insane to the point where they are confident enough to say hey in in, in december we have this in january we have this in 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 november we have this that is insane so i again, again these guys are developing new content that is six months ahead of us so that's why when we cry especially about the super sound matrices i'm sure the developers were confused because they worked on super sound matrices a while back <laughs> right this is what it means like if we take this at face value they worked on gaia six months ago they worked on super sound matrices six months ago so while to us and it's, it's an abrupt change they've been creating new espers and systems assuming that the super sound matrices for the past six months <laughs> that is actually funny that's actually funny so um yeah i, I guess i guess I'm looking forward to collecting more feedback from from all of you yes because you guys are actually in a different world <laughs> yeah you're six months ahead finally we would like to thank you again for your continuous support of this light we'll keep working hard to make this game that we all love even better you know what i love everything about this again there's just more information that is required as to what you're gonna do with dupes now and um what how our points allocated throughout the whole thing is the old resonance system gone you know but overall this is an attempt you know they this is why they took this out this early to sort of gauge uh interaction with this system do people like it do people hate it why do they like it why do they hate it what they can do to make it better it's it's an action so it's not like they left the resident system alone it means they continue looking at the systems that are in the game they look at the gear they look at esper acquisition they look at gear acquisition they look at you know dupe acquisition so like they've been looking into this and looking as how they can change it now question is have they thought about this change six months ago that's my question <laughs> yeah that, that's really the question right like this development map it's awesome it's awesome don't get me wrong this is amazing getting my hands on this would be very very good not only for content creation but for everyone it's it's very enjoyable to know what's coming when but question did they did they think of this system six months ago that's the question um, that all of us need to ponder now but 
until then till we find out the roadmap till we find out what they planned till we find out exactly how this thing is going to be in the live game we can only make speculations and that is a scary territory let's wait for more info and then react to that info this has been Colvian. thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video cheers